Our first speaker is Ryan Chatterjee. I met his mother, Pia, and father, TC, when Ryan was close to three, just turning three, leaving early intervention. I met Ann Stein at that time as well at his IEP meeting. And when Pia came to tour the school, which we do, and we give a wonderful tour of early intervention and the school program, and we talk all about what happens here and the magic that takes place and the expert staff who is in the room, expert staff. <laughs> Pia said, yes, just like that. Yes, Ryan will come. And I said, well, it's a process. It's special education. We go through it. No. Yes, Ryan will come. Pia has been like that ever since. <laughs> Very heartwarming. But that's exactly the attitude parents need to have. That drive and commitment between TC and Pia truly is the set success of Ryan. Not taking anything away from Ryan. He has worked hard. He's brilliant. He's outstanding. But it's the parents that stand behind him. Let's say, let's get this on, boy, get going. And when Pia said, yes, that will happen, it did. And Ryan is 2011, 2010, thank you. 2010 graduates of Child's Voice, please welcome Ryan Chatterjee. Thank you for the introduction, Dr. Uh, Michelle. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I can't hear you. Thank you. This time I could hear you. The reason I can hear you is because of my cochlear implants. I think that after sliced bread, these are the best things that have ever been invented. Cochlear implants are the reason I can hear. The reason I can speak to you today is because of Child's Voice School. My name is Ryan Chatterjee. That's Ryan spelled R-A-Y-A-N. I'm in the eighth grade at Scully Middle School in Naperville. I graduated from Child's Voice six years ago. A few years ago, I was named Artist of the Week at my school. I love art, and I love drawing cartoon characters and superheroes, and I love art. When I grow up, I think I want to become an animator in the movies. I have changed my mind about what I want to be when I grow up a few times already, and my parents tell me that I'll change my mind many more times. <laughs> my parents also tell me that I can be whatever I want to be when I grow up. For this, I am thankful to Child's Voice. When I was first diagnosed with hearing impairment, I was two years old. I'm very thankful that we found Child's Voice, and through Child's Voice, I found my voice. I don't remember much about my ch first days at Child's Voice, but my mom tells me that I was nervous and scared. I know that my mom was nervous and scared, too. I remember Miss Alana in my EI class. It was a lot of fun. Then I went to Mr. Rollins' class, and he taught me a lot of stuff. I know now that Mr. Rollin is now BMOC, big man on campus, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Ms. Heather was my next teacher, and I had a very good time in class and made a lot of friends. Then I became one of the big kids at Child's Voice, and I went to Ms. Melissa's class. She, she was an awesome teacher who taught me stuff everywhere. We went to Europe together, and she was even teaching me math. By, while traveling by train in the Alps in Switzerland. Thank you, Miss Melissa, Miss Heather, Miss Jeanette, Miss Mr. Rollin, Miss um, Alana, and all the other teachers at Child's Voice. You are the best.
I run cross country and play basketball, and my favorite things to do are watching TV, hanging out with my friends, and going on vacation with my family. My doctor tells me that I'll be six feet four inches tall. That has nothing to do with child's voice, just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> I had a lot of friends at child's voice, and because of what I learned at child's voice, I have a lot of friends at school and in my neighborhood. I can do everything that my friends can do, but I can also do something that none of my friends can do. When my mom yells at me, I can take off my implants and tell her, I can't hear you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak with you and for your time and attention. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Go Cubs!